Regis Volpez. Welcome to Ludus Volpez. My name's Kirsty and I'm with Mike with your game, Pandora Celeste. How is the UK Games Expo going, Mike? Is it's it going okay? very well. It's going very well, thank you. People Good. seem to absolutely love the concept. Um, yeah. Really enjoying the game. We're yeah. getting great feedback. So if you had to describe the game in one sentence, how would you describe it? This is a love letter to sci-fi movies, sci-fi monster movies. Okay. Every trope you can possibly think of is in here somewhere. Yeah. So obviously we saw at the beginning of the video how this game will open up from the box to be prepared and ready to play. We're currently set up halfway, well, part of the way through a game, and we thought the best way of showing you the game would be to show you an example round. So, if you're happy to come and sit down with the game, Phil? <laughs> do you want to do a very quick, brief explanation of how it works, and then we'll go into how the round carries yep, on? Absolutely. Um, so, every crew member is a classic archetype, and they have a deck of cards which. Um, has a series of actions that feed into the way that archetype works. So Fly Girl is your classic sci-fi heroine. She can um, uh, move, fight, uh, sneak through the aircon. Um, cargo is the ship's cargo officer. There's not a single tool on the ship that he can't use. And Skins is the ship's android. He's ever so slightly dodgy. And the reason why I say he's ever so slightly dodgy is Everybody gets an agenda at the start of the game, um, which essentially they choose um, out of two agendas. And if you are skins, you have to choose a company agenda. Um, and skins agenda, in this particular case, as the company agent, is to basically find smoking gun evidence that the company is up to no good on this ship and destroy it before whoever's got the smoking gun agenda finds it and gets it off the ship. So you can see that there are competing agendas going on. Uh, the way the game works is you basically play uh, a card with icons on it that tells you what actions you to do. You do that action, you pass the turn on to the next person, you go round the table until someone passes, then everybody gets to play two more cards and pass, and then the nasties get to move. Let's go then. So I think it's Kirsty to go next, I believe. So Kirsty, over to you. Okay, so uh, I have just used my flamethrower to kill a baddie, and now I would like to prepare myself to be able to do some more damage. So, I will use um, this card, um, which is a movement card here. And it allows me to move into, into another room here. So I can fight this baddie here. <coughs> Okay, so I am currently uh, stuck in that room with the alien and uh, Mike is uh, doing some nice aircon stuff. I'm going to sneak out of the room using this sneak card. Um, that's like this symbol here. So I'm going to sneak out of the room because that feels safer. I'm going to sneak into this room because I want some stuff and that seems like a good place to be. So we turn over all of these icons. There's also an alien in there, by the way, so that might have been stupid on my part. And you can see that you've got two, the, the room has triggered memories of your self-defense training, how to dodge. Well, that would help. And a memory of hiding places on the ship, also how to help. hide, which could also help. Also, you have a coffee cup lying around in the, uh, the, the crew quarters. I, I, love, I love coffee. The yeah. coffee cup is great because basically when you use and lose the coffee cup, you can choose any card from your deck or discard pile and play it immediately. Okay. So it's a fantastic, I really need to do this card. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the other thing that you've turned over is a big nasty. Oh, not a big nasty, a, a little nasty, the spider bug. The and spider bug, that the sounds spider a bit bug creepy. Has got, has got four hits, um, and if it uh, attacks you, it attacks to bind, where we turn over one of these cards, every red hit box makes you discard a card, 
and if the bottom hitbox is red, you also lose a card to wounds. Well, that's just horrible. It's nasty. Can, can anyone tell me why I went in that room again? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Mike, it's over to you. Rescue me or you know, move us on. Well, I am actually trying to achieve the um, uh, agenda that we need to achieve here because what the ship has done is it's engaged its emergency protocols. It's going to jettison the cargo in four turns unless we get into cargo control, which is at the back of the ship. Unfortunately, it's also locked down every single door in this ship. And the only way that you can unlock the lockdown protocol is I've got to get into this room here and play a pickup action. I'm in the aircon at the moment and I need to drop down out of the aircon. But before I do that, there is a little spy bot recording everything here. This is smoking gun evidence that the company's up to no good. I want to destroy smoking gun evidence that the company's up to no good. So I play a fight card <laughs> to attack this smoking gun evidence. Sadly, I miss. Okay, on to my go. I'm going to play the Fly Girl Fist and hit this little baddie here. I'm going to choose to use my Flamethrower to deal four damage. The other thing that you could do, because you know that that is a very, very nasty little bug, which if it retaliates and hits you is going to burrow into you and eat you from the inside out. Lovely. It's only got one hit, so you could opt to use oh, the use splurge the, bit yeah, of the flamethrower. Yeah, let's thrower. do that and damage yeah. one hit. Uh, yeah, this spray part, yeah. flame all over the place and set fire to that corridor. You automatically the hit bug. the bug <laughs> and kill the bug. However, you have set fire to the ship. Yeah, sorry it's about okay. that. Sorry about that. <laughs> How, how bad can it be? Over to you. Okay, well, I am going to... So, uh, one of the things you can do is discard two cards to take any action. So, I'm going to discard two cards. And I'm going to take an action to sneak again. And I'm going to sneak into... Uh, no, I'm going to sneak back into that room, into the corridor. Where the fire is. Where the fire is, but... If you end your turn in fire, you take a hit. Uh, let's. Can I climb up into this aircon unit here? That aircon unit is grey, so you cannot get into it, but you can get into that. It would take two cards to I've do so. I've done that. So yeah. I have two cards to discard, okay. and I've climbed up. As you climb, it's, the bug takes a swipe at It's going to miss. It's and not going to miss. It, it makes you discard two cards, and you also take a hit. When you take a hit, you lose cards from your action deck and they go into your wound slot. You have seven slots in your wound slot, the eighth kills you. I'm running out quickly. Okay. Um, I've decided that it's more important to actually get down there and unlock the doors. So I'm going to play two cards to jump down into the company rep's office. And, oh, there's the crowbar I needed to jimmy open the door. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> So, Mike, how, um, where are you at with production on this at the moment? This is a uh, working prototype. Gives you a pretty good idea of, um, of uh, how the game would work and what it would look like. We're currently talking to manufacturers about the cost of producing it. Um, and then we are hoping to go to a Kickstarter either later this year or at the start of next year when we've got our crowd together. We're also going to be doing a print and play later this year to raise awareness. Perfect, that's brilliant. So if people want to find out more about your um, the work that you're currently doing, where can they find you online? Online we are um, www.guntowergames.com slash Pandora. Okay. Um, alternatively, you can hit the QR code that is on our little banner. Thank you so much for your time today, Mike. We really appreciate it. We will get out of the way and let some other people come and join the game. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Bye. Surviving is just a way of keeping score. <laughs>